Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralist and this is part two of the Morty Flow. I just wanted to strengthen one of my points from my previous video on flow and that is when you get new frags in your tank, a lot of times people just place them on the bottom or you'll see them unpack them after they acclimate them, they huddle them in the sand because they're looking for the perfect place to put them and they haven't quite decided and they, or they're in their quarantine tank which a lot of quarantine tanks I don't see much flow in them so I want to stress the point that flow is extremely important and I know these frag plugs that a lot of people get or the frags are really small and you're afraid to whip the corals with the current because one it's going to either dislodge it, blow it off, you're going to lose it behind a rock or you're just afraid that you're going to hurt the tissue so there is a difference between good flow and beating your coral to death with flow. Um, if you see your coral whipping extremely hard and the tissue looks like it's tearing, I mean that's a huge sign right there to move it. If you see tentacles floating around your tank in the water. But if that coral is puffed up and happy, then keep it there, feel free. The current always has to move somewhere. So it's not like one coral is absorbing, well it can technically, it's not using all your current because the current's going to come from the pump and push and it's going to divert around that coral. So if you're having a problem with one pump not being enough, you may feel you need to add some more, which is possible. But a lot of people feel these pumps are ugly, so that's one reason why they go for the Vortex because the sleek design and uh, motor is on the outside of the glass. So that's really cool to have, but not everybody can afford uh, the Vortex. Even the MP10s are still extremely pricey. So what I want to see everyone do is Pay more attention to the corals they have before they add more. Design your tank slowly. I know it's a lot of people, like I say, I want to rush to the finish line to get your tank built, but it's a huge thought process in this, at least there is for me, when designing my aquarium. So design your rock work. It's like building a fast car um, or an airplane or jet. I mean, they want to streamline these things. So you know, current can get around them. If you have a big wall and your current cannot get behind that rock, you're gonna have dead spots on the other side of it. Magnetic frag racks are great for display tanks when you're introducing new frags and you're still deciding on where to put them. You definitely wanna make sure that your frags are in place and secure and they're getting plenty of flow. Sometimes we bunch things up too close together and there's dead spots in the middle. So that's one of the hardest problems we have with giant frag tanks and having tons of coral is that they're usually on flat racks which are natural for the ocean and current tends to stop somewhere in the middle and the corals aren't getting the correct flow. So getting flow from the bottom of the corals up is ideal but most people don't want to see pumps in their tank um, just because they're not that pretty and they attract algae and they have their own other issues. So designing an efficient system in your aquarium can be rather tough. So <laughs> it is a challenge. Make sure you secure your frag plugs well enough that you can have them in <laughs> sufficient flow. Invest in some glue. You're better off gluing the crap out of that flag plug, making sure you don't lose it, um, and giving it some good flow. And also one of my favorite things to do is even after you have it glued around and you have your coral starting to grow on the plug, you can take some putty, some epoxy, the Tunzi quick set uh, epoxy that I used in one of my other videos was so amazing, that worked out amazing, I, I just love it, it was so phenomenal that it mixed underwater and that it was smooth and soft and easy to mix and hardened quickly, I, I was just flabbergasted by how well that product worked, so I like to smooth around the edges so I don't have the ugly frags or the cut off plugs or anything and then the corals can grow faster and smoother. So I'll, I'll do that in another video, but thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your comments. Happy reefing, and until next time.